pressure here as Leanne Tooth comes up to take the hit from the corner. She gets it into the circle. It was lifted there by Bowman, and that will be a 16-yard hit to Korea. Korea taking it up quickly to take that 16, and it's fed right through very immediately to Lim Kai Suk, but Elspeth Clement has dispossessed her, and now it's back with uh, uh, Tooth, and Tooth puts it through. Now it's Lee Capes in space. She's got Pereira inside her. Can she bring it back to give Pereira the chance? She does so. It's not back far enough, and the goalkeeper, Chong Yun Chong, has been able to clear it for Korea. So once more, Australians applying some good pressure there, but not just getting the shot away high enough to beat the goalkeeper. Dorman. Pat Moore is in position on the right. Tracy Belbin overlapping. Now it goes to Pat Moore. She's got Kim Small outside, and Belbin overlapping just fails to get a stick to that one. And away it goes up the left, and this is Park out on the left wing. She cuts across through the middle of the field. Belbin has gone with her, put pressure on again, and now Sal coming over to the right as well. And Chong back to Sal and a ball through the middle, but it will run free, but being watched very closely by Kathy Partridge in case it hit that post. And I think some of the crowd here are not aware of the rules of hockey and they thought Korea had scored. I'm sure of it, Mark. The, the cheer went up when that ball went into the net. But I think there will be a lot of Koreans in this 25,000 capacity crowd today who are watching their first game of hockey. And they'll be enthusiastic and good on them. 27 minutes before half time, Australia nil, Korea nil. Pat Moore. And it was interesting to see the Australian defence in that sortie. Here's a chance for Pereira. That deflected off a Korean stick. And it will be a penalty corner to Australia. So here's a great chance for the Australians to seize the initiative. They've had all the play in the midfield in the last two or three minutes. And now they have the chance to open the scoring. The the Australian girls in a huddle just out of that shot. And they're just breaking up now. They'll be discussing their play here. They haven't had a lot of success with penalty corners. I notice Leanne Tooth has come up. She will take the hit. Loretta Dorman is going to make the stick stop and Kim Small will push it in. A very important play. A goal here would really put them on top, but the Korean girls have broken. Just as well there because the trap wasn't a clean one. And so Australia have another chance. One of the problems the Australians had against Korea in the pool game was the speed with which they came off the line. They had difficulty getting the shot in. They got it in this time and it almost beat the goalkeeper. Deflected away for a long corner. There was still a person on the post behind the goalkeeper, Chong. It's taken quickly. This is small, she's lost control, but it was pushed away by the Korean defender. Free hit to Australia from the side. Kim Small has the ball knocked away from her by Chang. She works the ball back onto the right wing. 13 is Kim. And the Australians applying pressure in the midfield. This is Leanne Tooth, who did well to get it out to Debbie Bowman. The Australian skipper works it towards the circle. That will be an obstruction against Korea. A free hit to Australia just outside the circle. So the Australians applying plenty of pressure in these opening minutes. We've been playing 10 minutes now and still no score to either side. Pereira loose at the top. It's taken away from her by the Korean captain, Chong. She's been an outstanding player in this tournament. Belbin showing good anticipation. Back to judgment and came up to make the interception. Now Lee Cape swings it right across to the left where Dorman was loose. She played it onto an opponent's foot. Play allowed to go on. And the Koreans have gained possession. The back goes Tooth. Cool. Gets it over the sideline. Free hit to Korea. And Kim Jung suk Now she's walking away from it. She'll give it to... Uh, Chong Yu Chong. And now it's back over the sideline again, and Korea with another hit in through Chong. Back it goes to Kim, and knocked out again by Michelle Cape. So Korea, once more in their attacking 25, Kim Le throws the ball into space behind Tooth, and Kim uh, Lim Kai Suk is there. But unfortunately for Korea and fortunately for Australia, Park was unable to get that ball in a good position and have the shot. But good signs there, Mark. They're manning up in the circle, the Australians. And every time the Koreans have got the ball in there so far, there has been someone marking the, the intended target. Yes, and that's what we said was uh, necessary, that they got that sorted out today and didn't get confused and lose their players. So Australia looking good in defence, and that augurs well for the final result. Chong Yung Chong. Oh, a bit misdirected pass. I don't think Chong was ready for that one. And Australia were able to intercept, but they've hit it over the sideline. So Korea is going to regain possession through Kim Jung-suk. Back it goes to Sal. 
And through to the captain, Chong Sang Hyun. She pops it forward, looking for Lim. But Lim doesn't do anything with it. And now Debbie Bowman. And Chang is back, putting pressure on Be Debbie, but she's able to keep a stick to the ball. That ball didn't quite make Sharon Patmore, and now it's Lim Kai Suk. And a touch now by Chong Sang Hyung, but obstruction called, and Australia will get the free hit right on the halfway line. So good sign so far for Australia but a long way to go before that gold medal will be theirs. That's with Clement taking the ball up. Straight through the middle and, uh, oh, Lee Capes has been able to pick that up. A mistrap by Korea. But she's given, uh, the umpire has given a stick obstruction, I think, against Lee Capes there. And she was unable to finish that dash through the middle off. 23 minutes, 22 minutes to go before half time here at Songnam Stadium as the Australians launch another attack from the midfield. That was Patmore. Her pass has gone astray. Chance now for Chang to clear up, uh, to tidy up for the Koreans. And uh, she has been infringed, and so it will be a free hit to Australia. So we've got 22 minutes to half time in the gold medal clash between Australia and Korea. At the moment, the score is nil all. We'll take a break, then we'll be back with more Olympic hockey action. Sunday, Brian. Australia still nil all Australia nil Korea nil both teams searching for their first Olympic hockey gold medal as Jackie Pereira knocks the ball on but there is no one up there that's uh, one of the problems of course when your forwards have to go back and help in defense they're not going to be able to run as free as they can now Lim Kai Sook picked that up beautifully but Elspeth Clement is there harassing her she gets the ball over the back line and it will be a 16 yard hit to Australia the Koreans extremely athletic very fast and very skillful but there have been questions asked about their defensive qualities now here's a test for the Australian defense fortunately Choi overran that ball and that's given the Australian defense to regain some poise as Sayo endeavors to send her side away they're getting congested on the 25 yard line Clement made the initial tackle but that wasn't effective chance now for Chong there's a collision in the circle and Chong has been penalized the Korean captain 16 yard hit to Australia so the Australian defense absorbing some pressure now midway through the first half Chong not able to make the interception Patmore and Pereira are there. Pereira tapping it to the advantage of Patmore. Now here goes the Australian goal scoring ace Pereira. She gets it across to Small. The ball just ran free, but it's a free hit to Australia. They play it on quickly and get it to Pereira. That could be a corner play on as the call. It's been pushed away from Pereira. She wasn't happy with that decision. She was looking for the corner, and she goes back and has a bit to say to the umpire. She felt there was no advantage in that situation. And now Clement is beaten for possession. Now Korea with a counter-attack of their own. It comes off Leon Tooth's foot. And it will be a free hit to Korea just outside the 25. They work it across to the midfield and Chong. Chong goes left and finds Park. Park has two defenders to contend with. Belbin has given away the free hit for obstruction. Back they come to just outside the 25. There goes the cross, but beautifully read by Michelle Capes. She dropped into the gap and put it over the sideline. Chang taking that hit from the side. Capes is there, trying to get it back to, to Bowman. But Capes has obstructed with her stick, and so a free hit to Korea. They go looking for Lim Kai Sook. She's their leading goal scorer. She's been brilliant at times throughout this tournament. She's trying to get the ball into the circle. It was lifted in. Play allowed to go on. Again, Clement stands firm. Taps the ball out to the advantage of her co-defender there in Dorman. Dorman gets it to Bowman. Bowman sends a beautiful ball up to Lee Capes. Her pace is causing something of a problem. That wasn't intended for Kim Small, but it will do. She's got the ball in the circle, and she can force a corner to Towards the goal, but it's cleared away by Chong. The Korean defence was under enormous pressure then, but Kim Small just couldn't get the shot in or couldn't force the corner, and so they were able to take it out of defence, and it'll be a free hit from the side to Australia. Belbin, oh, intercepted on that occasion by Lim, and now it's back with Australia. Kim Small decides to do it on her own, eliminates one of them. She has Cho in attendance, but that pass goes straight to... Uh, the uh, Korean defenders. This is Kim, Kim Yong-suk. 
now to Chong, and it's she's looking back for Kim again. She wins the free hit. Now she passes it through looking for Lim Kai Sook and she gets the right touch to it and Kim chasing for the back line. She's able to do it. Tooth is in attendance. She makes uh, Sook have to, uh, Kim Sook have to go round on the right and indeed the ball has gone over the goal line and Australia will get the 16. Well played by Leanne Tooth. And that ball goes through. Oh, and Jackie Pereira has picked it up on the halfway line. Kim Small will come in and assist her. Can she eliminate her on her own? No, an excellent tackle on that occasion by Korea. And Kim Young-suk back to Seoul. Back to Kim Young-suk and now across to Han. Han Kum Sil on that occasion. Bad pass out. They're making errors, the Koreans. Back it goes now and Kim, Michelle Capes plays it around her, did, does a good job on the, her, and Dorman takes it away to Bowman. Bowman over the 25, can she get it in? Jackie Pereira picks it up, isn't able to take the ball with her, but a free hit to Korea just outside the circle. Timeout and substitution, and number 13, Kim Young suk who hasn't played much in this tournament, goes off, and number eight, a player that I would have said would have been, should have been taking the first line up, Chin Wong Sim, is on. Dorman, good running by Lee Capes, but a good touch out by the captain, Chong San Hyun, and over the sideline. Back it goes now to Patmore, and back to Capes. Capes tries to get it hard in, goes off chase, stick and deflects, and is cleared out by Korea. This is Park working hard against Belbin. Belbin wins that one. Dorman's free in the middle if she wants to use him. Back it goes, though, to Clements. Clements puts it through to Patmore. Patmore has two to beat. She does it and wins the free hit. And I would say there would be a little bit of a stick, uh, stick check in that encounter. Elspeth Clement, oh, tiddly little ball up to Patmore. Doesn't quite make it, but Australia have been able to retain possession. Patmore again, round between two of them. Well done by Patmore. Now it's out to Lee Capes. She'll look for the cross. It's deflected over the goal line for a corner and Australia putting the pressure on in attack once more. In it comes quickly. It's deflected off Korea. No, it must have been uh, deflected off Sharon Patmore there, and the free hit has been awarded to Korea. 14 minutes to half time at Songnam Stadium. Australia versus Korea for the gold medal, and it's nil all. And the Korean crowd now starting to break into something of a chant as Belbin gets a stick to it. Brilliantly played, Tracy Belbin, and she's kept it in play. That was a good tackle. She's running hard up the right. A good one, too, with Patmore. Patmore showing good skills, gets it inside the 25. A good ball to, to Debbie Bowman. And the Australians have a free hit just outside the circle. Good defensive work by the halfback, Tracy Belbin. She has played well. There was a good dummy run there by Debbie Bowman. She overran the ball deliberately to give Kim Small a chance, but it went astray. And now Korea can break it up. And that's not a bad ball either into the midfield. Chance now for Park as she sweeps it down. But Clement reading that beautifully. Swings play back to the left to Dorman. Dorman looks further left and finds Small. Small just outside the 25-yard line. Sees Capes breaking through, but a comfortable interception made inside the 25 for Australia. And now the Koreans through choke and break it up. But again, Pereira battling hard has been able to stymie their run. It will be a free hit to Korea. But they haven't been allowed to run free from defence. In fact, it, yes, it is a free hit to Korea, taken by So, and she works the ball right back to the defence of 25. This is Cho, gets the ball into Seoul. She's putting, looks for the through pass. Belbin playing it back onto an opponent's foot. That was Lim, and Australia will get the free hit about 20 metres backward of the half line. Elspeth Clement. Gee, Elspeth Clement has come the long way around to this game this afternoon, twice chosen for Australian Olympic teams. The boycott prevented her from playing in 1980, and she broke a bone in her hand a week before the 1984 tournament and had to withdraw from the Australian team. So a very important afternoon for Elspeth Clement, as it is for her co-fullback, Leanne Tooth, who's played solidly throughout this tournament. 12 minutes to half time. Australia nil, Korea nil. Patmore went looking for Belbin, but the pass went astray. Chance now for the Koreans. Kim feeding the ball into the midfield. And again, the Australians prepared to concede the hit for an obstruction rather than let the Koreans break away. 
Ooh, hard ball through, deflected off the Australian stick, but Michelle Cape picks it up, and Bowman now across to Patmore. Good passing by the Australians at this stage. Now, that's a beautiful ball for Lee Cape. She, well, it's, I can't say it was a beautiful ball. I guess she wasn't quite in position, but it looked good initially. But Lee Cape's not being able to pick it up. Bowman and Cape's out there on the right. They win the free hit. So Australia looking like they want to win this gold medal as Dorman moves up with Capes. Capes eliminating one. She does the hard cross. That's deflected by the Koreans, but uh, Debbie Bowman trying to have the shot. The umpire allows that again, that advantage, and really it's putting the Australians under a great deal of pressure in that circle. They're not being awarded free hits very easily. Tracy Belbin straight into the stick, or she obviously thinks it was the foot and has convinced the umpire with her glare, I think, that it went straight into the foot of the Korean captain, Chong San Hyung. So Australia with the free hit again. A very, di very different game to the pool game, Mark. It was about four all at this stage, I think. <laughs> or three all at least. That's right. It uh, was we predicted it wouldn't possibly be quite as high scoring a game, and I think both defences are playing as though their life depended on it, and that will make a difference. Up it goes now, and uh, Chin tries to get it for Korea, but she loses it, and Michelle Capes will take the free into Bowman. Back to Belbin. Belbin has Patmore dropping back, making position and dragging up the defence and allows the ball to go three, through. Pereira not able to get the reverse stick to it, so it goes straight to Han Kum Sil, who clears strongly right over the sideline in the attacking 25. So Australia back to take that hit in from the side. Leanne Tooth, a good ball through to Belbin. She's got heaps of space there at the moment. She's got Dorman also with heaps of space over on the right. Dorman goes for a run. Lee Capes is running out wide on the right. A good ball through, and she eliminates the Korean player. Back it goes, but not quite far enough for Pat Moore. And out the ball goes by Korea, up to Park. Intercepted by Belbin. Back with Pat Moore. Pat Moore moving infield. Well, forces a good obstruction. She's still got the ball. Jackie Pereira being closely marked, isn't able to get the stick to it. And once again, Korea come out with it. Dorman, desperation stuff. She stops the flow of the ball, but uh, has the free hit awarded against her. Jackie Pereira, obviously uh, being very closely marked there. She's going to have to maybe take a few steps back sometimes to get the ball. She's capable of shooting a goal from any angle, upside down or back to front. And we need perhaps to see it today. Good interception by Jackie Pereira. Back to Lee Capes. Lee Capes tries to come inside, but a strong tackle by Cho. She's playing well for a first game in the Olympic tournament. Elspeth Clement playing like a woman possessed today. She is reading the play superbly and picking up her opposition before they've even thought about it. Pat Moore into the uh, feet of the Koreans, but I think that was lifted up in and the Korea will get the free hit. So, a little respite in the game while the ball goes back and they decide where they're going to take it from. Now Che's got the free hit. She's got Sawa outside her. Ball going through, looking for Chong. It's deflected by Lian to safely over the sideline so the Australians can reform in defence and pick up their players. But they're working very hard, those Korean forwards, to move the Australians about. And another good interception by Australia. That's Debbie Bowman. She puts it through. She's expecting Kim Small to grow wings, I think, on that occasion. But that's picked up nicely by Korea, and it'll go right across to the other side to Cho. Cho brings it out. Some of the Koreans not actually making a lot of movement at the moment. Good ball, though, out to Che. She eliminates Pat Moore with ease. And now the Koreans have got the numbers up in attack. But what a silly ball on an occasion like that. Now, this girl, Che, out on the, the left. Oh, and here's an opportunity for Jackie Pereira. And she puts it straight into the goalkeeper. But it go play on. Cho intercepts. Here's Small. Can Small get the ball back? She gets it back and forces the penalty corner. But, oh, we should have had a goal there. Even after Pereira's shot was saved, the ball went out to the right, and that could have been another shot for goal. Courageous goalkeeping by Chong. She really came out to the top of the circle and took Jackie Pereira on, cramped her for room when it looked as though Pereira was going to be able to easily get around uh, the keeper and put the ball in the net. She only had the one player to beat. So... This is Australia's second penalty corner, and I, I know we didn't score up the first one, but I feel good about the corners today. 
That was breaking by the Koreans. Sayo is the player who will come out off the line at the Australians, number 14, and she's very quick. If they don't get their corner working properly, she will be there before the hit is taken. There's the shot, saved. Pereira with another chance. It's running free, and it's going to be a stroke, a penalty stroke to Australia. The Koreans are not happy, but there you see the Australian contingent. They're delirious. Here's the chance for Australia to take the lead. And here's the replay. You'll see the ball get tied up in the keeper's pads. Now Pereira was there. And she flicked it back into the keeper. Well, I didn't see what it was for. It seemed to be fairly clean keeping, despite the fact that she couldn't get the ball away. But well, it's a stroke to Australia. I couldn't see that either. The only thing I could think on the replay that maybe it touched one of those defenders on the leg. And that is why the penalty strokes awarded. Now, Tracy Belbin is coming up to take this penalty stroke. So Australia has had three strokes so far in this tournament, and they've all been taken by a different player. Debbie Bowman had one saved early in the tournament. Elspeth Clement took one against Korea and converted it. And now Tracy Belbin has the chance to put Australia in front. And Chong is taking plenty of time. She's settling herself. And you can hear the crowd starting to get behind the Korean goalkeeper. They've been given the, the whistle to go. There's the stroke, and she saved it. Chong has saved it. Well, it will be interesting to see what effect that has on this game. The Australians had a golden opportunity to take the lead in this game and perhaps eliminate the crowd from it for a while at least. And now the Koreans will perhaps be inspired by the deeds of their goalkeeper. Korea in possession. Three is Chang. She clears the ball inside the 25, but Capes is there. Michelle Capes gets it to Patmore. The Australians have to fight back now. Have to make sure that that hiccup doesn't affect their play. And Lee Capes is penalised for lifting the ball into the Korean defender. And so it will be a free hit to Korea. They get the ball into the midfield. Dorman got a stick to that, which gave Michelle Capes the opportunity to make the interception. But now the Koreans start to mount an attack of their own. And they have a player loose on the left if they can get it over there. Lim was there, and she's been obstructed. Free hit to Korea. Gee, it displays a lack of confidence to a certain extent, I think, when you have three different players taking the three strokes that have been earned, especially after the last player to take one actually converted it. Now, there's Chin with the cross, but it was well intercepted back there by Dorman. Lee Capes feeds the ball up towards the Australian 25-yard line, coming across to meet it as Han. We've got five minutes to play before half-time. Australia nil, Korea nil. It could so easily have been 1-0 to Australia. And now the Koreans go forward again. They've found Park on the 25-yard line. Clement is with her. Park gets the ball through Clement. This is danger for Australia. It's close. It's a 16-yard hit to Australia, and Belbin wastes no time taking it. She went looking for Patmore, but has found Small. I'm not sure of the point of that. That's what the point of it was. Lee Capes was loose on the left. Now she has Dorman outside her. She opts to go it alone, is dispossessed by Sal, but it'll be a free hit to Australia. So Dorman coming up to take the free hit. So tend to agree with you, Wally, that uh, Elspeth Clement, particularly the way she's playing today, she's playing with so much confidence, but I would dare say the penalty stroke takers have been worked out well before the game, and they're sticking to their game plan. Green card there to Chung. And Michelle Capes, oh, not such a good ball to Patmore, puts her under pressure, but she does well to retrieve it, and uh, wins the free hit, and takes it very quickly, looking for Kim Small. Kim Small struggling to keep it in, it's tackled by Che, Che gets it away, and a long ball up to Park. Elspeth Clement's there. She's channel her and try to get the ball off her. She steals it beautifully. And, oh, a nasty sort of a tackle there by Park. But play on. Advantage being given. Being lost immediately. And Chang. Chang San Hyung. This is El um, Elspeth. Elspeth Clement tries to get it through. It's taken back now. Park breaks away. But Tracy Belbin's there. Free hit awarded to Korea. That would have to be back in that confrontation higher up the field. The ball is laid off to Che. Sharon Patmore runs in. 
wins the uh, or knocks the ball the ball is knocked over the sideline and uh, australia will get the hit in through tracy belbin leanne tooth overlaps gets herself into a little bit of trouble but fortunately for australia the tackle coming from the koreans was an illegal one and so back the ball goes to clement to relieve a bit of the pressure michelle capes She's looking across field again to Dorman, finds her well. Belbin is alongside, but that ball is intercepted superbly by Chong San Hyung. And now Park again, they've got the numbers up. That ball getting out to uh, uh, Lim Kai Suk. Michelle Capes has done an excellent job in defending that. She watched the ball superbly, took it away, and out it comes to Bowman. Bowman now looking for a ball. Oh, lucky to get that one through to Pereira, but it managed to get there. She's now got Capes and she's got Pat Moore back to Pereira. Pereira going through. She'll look for Kim Small cutting in back to Pereira. Here's a chance for Australia. Into the goalkeeper again. Offside and, call. And she was called offside. Well, ooh. she certainly had to run forward for that ball, but uh, sitting here, you can't really tell from the, the angle, but it looked to me as though she had to run forward for it. But that is the decision and that's the way it stands. Kim Small. The Australians working hard to get that ball up into attack. This is Tracy Belbin. The ball through for herself and she throws the stick out but is unable to get it away. And indeed, stick obstructs in doing so. Oh, now that ball almost finding Lim Kai Suk with nobody in attendance, but it runs safely over the sideline and Australia will get the free hit in. Back it goes to Elspeth Clement. Clement looks for Patmore. Terrific trap by Patmore there. Out to Small. That's deflected. That'll be Australia's hit in from the side. So gradually working their way up into the attacking area again. Just a minute to half time. Back it goes to Patmore, but it goes a bit behind her. She's lucky to retain possession of that. It quickly taken. Kim Small into the circle. And there was another chance for Pereira and for Lee Capes, but the ball flew past them and over the back line for a 16. Well, 90 seconds, in fact, till half-time in this playoff for the gold medal between Australia and Korea. It's still nil all. The Australians with the ball in their forward line, but the Koreans with the chance to clear. They didn't do that very effectively. Loretta Dorman getting tied up, and I think she thought she'd conceded the hit there. In fact, it's gone Australia's way. Taken quickly, too. Bowman goes out to the left, but beautifully read and easily read by the Korean defence. And they have the chance now to go forward through Chin. But Bowman was there. Capes was there to tap it to Bowman. Now Capes again gets it down to Sister Lee. These two working the ball down into the forward line, and it just runs out of control and across the sideline. Gee, wouldn't it be a great birthday celebration for the two Capes girls if they were to, to win a gold medal here today? Lee turns 27 and Michelle turns 22 on Monday. Two sisters sharing the same birthday as Elspeth Clement runs the ball towards the half line. That's good dogged work by Clement. She's maintained control of it for Australia as Bowman is dispossessed. Play on as the call. Capes gets the cross in, but that was intercepted by Chong. And now the Koreans have a chance, but up comes Belbin. She's lost control of it. Lim Kai Suk has it. It's five on three. The Australians still have the numbers. Dorman going back and she's given away the free hit. And now they can come back in number. Debbie Bowman and Sharon Patmore, the two inside forwards, streaming back. And here's Bowman. Well played, Debbie Bowman. Going back to lend support. She's been dispossessed, but has earned the hit for, for the obstruction. Just seconds to play in the first half now, as the ball is put out over the sideline. Cho with the opportunity to bring it in for Korea, and they play it back. And there's the hooter to mark half-time here at the uh, the forwards to go back and assist in defence so they're not able to camp up on the 25 yard line in attack and that perhaps is the reason that uh, a couple of the opportunities that they've created haven't been finished off they're just getting there those two or three strides later than what they normally would but that aside they've done very very well they've done everything but put the ball in the net and uh, it was good to see them overcome the fact that they missed that penalty stroke but this has been uh, a good performance by the Australian girls so far I'm sure you'd agree Mark oh absolutely but uh, the defence has done their job at this stage and they continue to be very steady they haven't lost control in any occasion and now really it is up to the forwards to australia and korea have possession Che, oh an intercepted well by sharon patmore she puts it out to kim small back to patmore patmore has Pereira up front she's still got small out wide she takes it around to the right looks for small but that was very easily intercepted by Che. and now uh, chong san hyung the captain 
was a stick check by Loretta Dorman and the free hit will go to Korea. Lim Kai Suk running for that one. Elspeth Clement is there, a good tackle by Clement, but nobody there to mop up for her. Uh, but the Koreans running offside and Australia will be let off the hook and be able to take this 16 or free hit away. Elspeth Clement now back to Leanne Tooth. Tooth looks to the high chip to the left. Pereira brings it down. She's chasing it for the sideline, gets it up to Capes. Capes struggling on the left-hand side, but she wins out in the long run. And up through the middle comes Debbie Bowman to assist. She's been obstructed, and Australia will get a free hit just about the attacking 25-yard line. Dorman takes it quickly to Patmore. Patmore looks for the hit, but does it on her own. Goes round one, two, three, is finally picked off by uh, Chong, but that pass out was a diabolical pass for Korea, and Kim Small will win the obstruction, but she won't win a penalty corner. It was just outside the circle. So Australia with a free hit, and that was a good run by Pat Moore. She just couldn't quite get it through three in a row. Small into the circle, mistrapped by Korea. Pat Moore fighting for it, but it's brought out well by Korea in the long run. Now it's picked up by Kim Small. They'll go back into attack again. Small on the sideline, wins the free hit for an obstruction. Taken quickly, the ball into the centre and a diving Jackie Pereira. But she doesn't get the stick to it. And it goes over the goal line for a corner. Well, that's, for the style, that's the style of Jackie Pereira. And that's the sort of play that scored her a first half hat trick in the first game between these two. Well uh, eliminated by Sharon Patmore there to win the free hit and obstruction outside the circle. Kim Smalls there with her. Will she go for the hard one? Goes for the hard ball across. It flies up in the air and Lee Capes has an opportunity and it's a penalty corner to Australia. That ball coming up off the Koreans and a penalty corner very quickly into the first uh, second half of this game. About two minutes into play and Australia here with a definite opportunity. Their penalty corners have not been particularly successful through this tournament but today's the day. Elspeth Clement this time coming up. Many years experience at this position. Out it comes. Not a good ball out. Dorman traps pushes for the Ooh. goal and that was nearly a cold goal for Australia. It was a mistrap. She made the best of it but the save has knocked the ball over the goal line and a corner will be taken by Elspeth Clement. Australians moving in the circle. Good flat ball but it's very calmly taken and played out uh, by Korea. Pushed out over the sideline by Che. And now Lee Capes. Back on the right, taps it through. But it's being played well by Che Sharon. Patmore playing cat and mouse. That ball goes in and then Chong San Hyun tries to get it out. It comes to Lim Kai Sek. Out to Park, back to Lim, back to Park. But Elspeth Clement did a good job there. She didn't get a clean tackle, but she stopped that flow. And that ball going right out to the right hand side where Michelle Capes is channeling and picked off beautifully by Michelle Capes. And she plays it upfield. Gets it, uh, Kim Small, knocks it into Bowman, but that's a bit of a loose ball. Back it goes through the centre of the circle and Elspeth Clement steps over it and allows the 16 to be taken. Well, the performance of Michelle Capes and Tracy Belbin on the half line and Elspeth Clement at full back has been nothing short of brilliant so far in this game as Lee Capes loses control and the ball deflects over the sideline. But the tackling of Belbin and Capes in particular, that's Michelle Capes, has been outstanding as that shot... Well, that to drive forward from Che goes right through the Australian defence and will result in a 16-yard hit. We've played five minutes in the second half at Song Nam Stadium. Australia nil, Korea nil, and des despite that negative scoreline, it has been an outstanding game of hockey. Han taking the 16-yard hit for Korea. The Australians have the numbers in there, and as a result, Kim Small was able to apply enough pressure to get possession, and it will be a penalty corner to Australia for a deliberate infringement outside the circle. Now, the Australians are creating opportunities. They must convert one. This will be their third penalty corner in total. They've also had a penalty stroke. And as yet, they haven't scored from any of those opportunities. I can only think the reason that... Tracy Belbin took the stroke was because the Korean goalkeeper had seen both Bowman and Clement in an earlier game. Let's see what Clement can do this time. She gets the shot in and it's saved on the line. And a second time penalty stroke. A penalty stroke to Australia. So now the Australians with another glorious opportunity to break this deadlock. It'll be interesting to see who goes up this time, Wally. It's going to be the Australian captain, Debbie Bowman. 
She's waiting at the top of the circle, just out of your picture. Oh, and wouldn't she be feeling some pressure? It's nil all. 29 minutes till full time. Debbie Bowman, the Australian captain, she scored one from the spot and she's missed one from the spot so far in this tournament. But she's done some heroic things at opportune times during the course of this tournament. Let's see if she can put Australia in front. She needs to, needs to be really relaxed here. I know it sounds crazy, but she does. She scored! Australia lead 1-0. And that was a beautifully taken stroke. And she is delirious. She is ecstatic, Debbie Bowman. And now she calms herself. Here's the shot of it from behind the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, in fact, went the right way, but she took that well. She stroked that powerfully into the net. Australia 1, Korea 0. 29 minutes to play. Now, the next minute or two, a couple of minutes for Australia are vital that they maintain their composure in defence and everybody just to play very, very steadily and nobody to forget their roles. It so often happens that a goal goes from being scored one end to immediately being scored on the other. So Australia need to really concentrate on the job in hand and forget that that goal has gone in the net and just believe they're starting from scratch again. Pat Moore, oh, tackled by Wan Sung Yun, the captain. She's got a long run up the field, but Leontu's waiting for it. A ball, good ball through, but again, Elspeth Clement picks up. They pick it up by Korea, and then Michelle Capes comes and mops up for Australia. Now Dorman, oh, not such a well-directed pass, and that enables Korea to intercept before Lee Capes gets hold of it, and into the circle they go. Dorman is there, sorry, Leanne Tooth is there, and a diving save puts that ball over the goal line for a corner to Korea. It's taken very quickly to the top of the circle, but it was lifted, and it will be a 16-yard hit to Australia. 28 minutes to play in the final of the... 35 to 9 tonight. A sensitive issue is dealt with on Rafferty's Rules. A man accused of a crime society will not tolerate. A washed-up former kids' TV star now up on charges of child molestation. Rafferty's Rules, 8.35 tonight. It's a first, the first Olympic family event. It's the Camry event at all Toyota dealers, and you can't lose. 14 days of record-breaking Camry deals with family wagons at sedan prices. Family wagons at sedan prices and record-breaking deals and trade-ins on Camry sedans. Take your family for a test drive and buy before September 30. And beat the October price rise. See your Toyota dealer and your family will be the winners. Oh, what a feeling, Toyota. The original monkeys, Davy Jones, Peter Tork and Mickey Dolans are bound for blazers at the West Hamworth Leagues Club Sunday, October 16. And 9-8 Television is giving away double concert passes and autographed copies of the Monkeys album's compliments of Arista Records. All you do is call to the Monkeys contest outlet in your town and leave your name and address in the entry box. We'll give away a double concert pass and a personally autographed Monkeys album to one entrant at each local entry centre. It's easy, it's free, and here's your local Monkeys contest entry centre. Two Hills Retrovision, Port Macquarie. The Loriton Food Store Supermarket. Fairlingham Bargains in Wingham. And the Village Minstrel, Foster Shopping Village. In Port Macquarie, there's one Chinese restaurant which has just a little bit more than others. Each weekday, the Wa Hing serves up a magnificent seven-course smorgasbord for only $5.90. It's the lunch for those who don't have much time to spare from work or for shoppers taking a break from a busy day. Eat as much as you like for $5.90, but only at the Wa Hing Chinese restaurant, Port Macquarie. Hereford breeders, you owe it to yourself to inspect the Devoncourt 1988 Bicentennial Draft before making your bull buying decision. The largest one brand registered Hereford bull sale in Australia, where 200 sons of 25 outstanding sires are featured. The Devoncourt bull sale, right in the middle of the South Queensland Hereford week, Wednesday 5th of October at 12.30pm on the property. For further particulars, contact your local branch of Elders Pastoral or Dalgetty Winchcombe FGC. 26 minutes to play, 26 minutes to full time. Australia lead Korea 1-0 at Songnam Stadium. 
The Australians in possession through Bowman. She was their goal scorer from the penalty spot. And that's a beautiful ball. Sends Lee Cates away. Now Cates will look for the cross. Pereira's unattended. Couldn't get the deflection in. Good keeping again by Chong. She's done a great job in the net for the Koreans so far in this game. There's the interception made this time by Cates. Cates sends the ball across. It runs free to Small. Only the keeper to beat. She took a long time. Pereira's shot is intercepted. What great effort again by the Korean defence. Gee, the Australians have created some opportunities. And that's a good clearance. It was beautifully picked up by Lim. There goes the ball down to Park. It wasn't Lim, it was Chin who put the ball down to Park. But that searching pass has gone too far in advance of the right wing. And it will be a hit from the side to Australia. So another excellent scoring opportunity for Australia. Really putting the pressure on on that occasion, that ball lifting. And uh, Lim Kai Sook receiving the ball, but she's all right. And the hit will, hitting will be retaken from the side. A little ball into Lim. She tries to get it across, intercepted by Tooth, cleared by Lim. Ooh, now there's a nasty blow. Well, that Lee, was accidental. Oh, absolutely. Lee Capes trying to get the ball out of that defensive area. And Chung Yung Chung has copped that one in the head. Yes, that ball uh, really did fly. Lee Capes just wanted to get the ball clear. And you can see she lifted it straight into Chong's face. Oh, heavens above. She didn't even have time to, to look up uh, Lee Capes. She just struck the ball as hard as she could. And that is a sickening blow. A most unfortunate incident. And she appears to be in a spot of bother. The Korean medical team in attendance. With 24 minutes to play here in the final of the women's hockey tournament at Songnam Stadium. Australia lead Korea 1-0. While there's a delay in play, we'll take a break. Then we'll be back for the resumption. Seven thirty tonight on Highway to Heaven, a young black family meets strong neighborhood resistance when they move into an exclusive community. Racial conflict in Highway to Heaven. Seven thirty tonight on Nine Eight Prime Television. I'm right glad the TV is back and things are normal again. You see, a couple of weeks ago we got burgled. Ah! Who stole the telly? Who stole the telly? Morris was very depressed. What would he do with no TV? You guessed it! Fortunately, the home was insured with New Zealand Insurance. They approve most claims in only five days. So most claims can be settled in a matter of days, not weeks or months. <laughs> They've paid! They've paid! Soon I was safe in front of the new TV. Thank you, New Zealand Insurance. You saved my life. Oh, no! NZI Insurance. We approve most claims in only five days from getting your claim form. I think about safety all the time. You can't afford any mistakes, Ab Sally. I rely on my gear and I plan what I'm going to do next. It's the same when I cross the street near home. More than 220 pedestrians over 60 are killed on our roads every year. I plan how and when I cross each street. I use the lights or the pedestrian crossing. Crossing the road is a challenge. Think about it. Between babyhood and manhood, there is a delightful creature called a boy. Boys come in different colours, sizes and weights. But all boys seem to have the same aim in life. To enjoy every second of every minute of every hour of every day. And to protest loudly when their last minute is finished. A boy is made up of many things. He has the appetite of a horse, the digestion of a sword swallower, the curiosity of a cat. The energy of a pocket-sized atomic bomb, the lungs of a lion and the enthusiasm of firecracker. A wise person once wrote, a good man dies when a boy goes wrong. King David of Israel also knew this. David wrote, how can a young fellow keep his life free of the things that soil it and spoil it? 
only by guarding it according to God's instructions. And the wise boy does. On goal and didn't miss by much. Gee, that was casual defence that time by the Koreans. They left it all to the goalkeeper. As the ball is cleared away very quickly by Han, she gets it into the midfield. This is the new player on the ground, Wang, but her pass has gone astray, and it will be a 16-yard hit to Australia. The player injured, number three, Chong, has had to leave the field. She was struck. It appeared to be in the mouth area, and it was heavily taped when she came off the ground, and she's been replaced in the game by number nine, Wang Kum Suk. Now Che taking the hit in park. Tracy Belbin's there. That ball goes right across the face of goal and was a wee bit casual there on the Australian defensive part. Probably the first time they've looked a little bit casual and there was an opportunity for Korea on the right-hand side, but they didn't make the most of it, so Australia get the 16. That was intercepted by Sal. She pops it through looking for Wang. Chong San Hyun plays it into the feet of Dorman and finally wins the free hit, although advantage was played initially. Chong intercepted out it comes through patmore now she's got kim small very clear on the right hand side she's looking left Pereira's running through strongly on the right she'd be able to pick that up she gets the cross flying in but it's a long way in advance of lee capes although that is sloppy defense by the koreans this stage sharon patmore lifts the ball into the koreans advant advantage played and now is sharon patmore struggling with wang to get the ball and Elspeth Clement, anticipation beautiful by Elspeth Clement today. And she picked that ball up in front of Park without any trouble. That Korean full back line looks very fragile to me, Mug. It really has shown weaknesses in the, well, certainly in this half and, and before the injury occurred, it was uh, leaving Australia with too many chances there. Lim, Lim Kai Suk, she tries to get it through for Wang, but it was well intercepted by Tooth. Whistle goes for a free hit just as the Koreans were about to launch a shot at goal. And back it goes to Wang. Back, uh, sorry, to... Sa uh, can't get my word tongue around all this. I'll leave it till the Australians take the free. Leanne Tooth. She tries to force it through for the long ball, but Bowman in the middle, but she can't help it through. And so, Saul for Korea, hard through the middle. Sharon Patmore working back well today and she lifts the ball out of defense and that'll go long and possibly over the goal line. I think it just made the goal line, so 16 yard hit to Korea. Han Kum Sil, Jackie Pereira almost gets that uh, interception. Oh, she does on the second time and that's good working back. The Australians all contributing to this game. Che, now that's a, oh, a bad mistrack by Elspeth Clement. But she works back on uh, on Lim and gives away the free hit. Good tackle by Tracy Belvin again. Good confident play by the Australia. Back that ball goes looking for Che. Che's gone to sleep and now Buchanan and Small. Pereira's up there. Buchanan does it on her own the first time, throws it through, but Jackie Pereira's run out of that position now and Han Kum Sil comes through. And a long ball over to the right. And that's not able to be picked up. Nigel won't be talking to you. By <laughs> Jim. <laughs> now, Lee Capes working back. Now, the Koreans have had a bit of a difficulty with uh, one of their players that I see, number five, Che, Che chun who's been one of their very strong players at left defender through the week, has really had a, a nightmare of a game today. She's put more passes to the Australians than, than I think the Australians have. So that ball lifted dangerously. And a free hit to Australia. And Sharon Patmore forcing the ball through and Jackie Pereira picks it up just on the goal line. She tries to win the penalty corner, but that's very well defended uh, by the Koreans on this occasion and the free hit from the side will be given to Australia. Sharon Patmore. There goes the cross. Oh, well defended in there by uh, Cho. Out of, uh, so, I'm sorry, there's Jackie Pereira intercepting again. Back it goes into the circle. A shot by Small. 
It's saved. There's a melee in the middle of the circle. And the umpire gives the free hit against Australia. And that was another shot. Good opportunity by Australia. Kim Small, hard shot, but it was well saved. That goalkeeper is playing well for Korea. And this is Kim. Kim Jung-suk. Sorry, it's Kim Sung-dok. Now, Sharon Patmore. This is Chong San Hyun. Oh, she gets a good ball through for Lim. A bit of indecision in the defence there. They thought that she was offside. Seemed to hold back, but the umpire Jeez. said play on. That's... And oh, Lim Kai Suk got a golden opportunity there. Fortunately, Kathy Partridge was alert to the situation and saved Australia's bacon. Well, I'm not sure that she was, in fact, Mark. She took a long time to come out. She retreated. And they were playing. I think they were waiting for the whistle, but you um, must play the whistle. Quite sure they were, but she recovered well, thank goodness, because that could have been disastrous for Australia. That's, we don't need Korea to get back at us at this stage, at any stage. So bad misunderstanding in deep defence there, but the Australians have survived that mini crisis, and now Small makes a good interception. The Koreans are giving the ball away far too easily in defence. A great opportunity here for Australia. If they can get another goal in, I think that would just about take the wind out of the Korean sails and we've got 17 minutes to play Australia lead 1-0 the goal coming from a penalty stroke from captain Debbie Bowman here's the corner hit from Patmore she lifted it into the circle it'll be a 16 yard hit to Korea So the Koreans, within the next few minutes, I would think, would start to become a little bit anxious if they can't get this goal back. Again, they try to go straight through the Australian forwards, and uh, Pereira was able to get a stick to it, which gave Small the opportunity to force the obstruction. So the Australians press up again. Belbin to Patmore, back to Belbin. Belbin is obstructed by Chong. A free hit to Australia just outside their attacking 25-yard line. Melbourne opts to go it alone this time, runs the ball towards the circle. Comfortable interception made, and Chong can now clear for Australia, but she took a long time. Che eventually gets the push in, and that has come off Sharon Patmore's stick, and it will be a free hit to Korea. Now, they play it on quickly this time. Park was loose on the 25. She went looking for Lim Kai Sook. Debbie Bowman was awake up to it. The clearance from Bowman's not good. Chong goes out to the right. Another chance for Korea. They get the ball close to the circle. This is Chin. Then she comes to Sayo. She's trying to force the corner. Good defensive of work again well the Australian defense really has been superb so far in this game but their job is not done 16 minutes to full time Australia one Korea nil small goes in and jabs the ball away from number six Kim Sun Duck the Koreans have the ball from the side And this time they're able to break through the initial barrier as they try and work it in towards the circle again. Be a free hit to Korea for a stick obstruction against Kim Small. The Australian girl striving to win Australia's first ever hockey gold medal. That was lifted by the Australians. Play on is the call. Well, the ball deflected off an Australian stick and went into the air. We've seen corners awarded for less than that in this tournament. So a good break there to Australia. Back go the Korean defence, or goes the Korean defence. Cho, and it's cleared into the midfield. It well intercepted there by Huang. Chance now for, K, for Bowman. She's been dispossessed. Chance for the Koreans. This time they've got a little bit of room in which to move. And again, it's Belvin who makes the save. And it will be a free hit to Korea just outside the circle. Or to Australia. Injury time again. Well, I would say it would have to be to Australia. Yes, and I think it is to Australia, judging by the way the players have run back. There you see Sale, who in fact has been playing in all previous games with a heavily strapped left leg. And she appears to have injured her knee. So it looks as though we're going to have a further delay here, although it probably won't be a long one. So 15 minutes to full time at Songnam Stadium. Australia lead Korea in the quest for the hockey gold medal. One goal to nil. Right on head of the class, Mr Moore's directing a production of Hamlet and he takes his class along for some constructive criticism. I want good, honest, constructive criticism. 
and I would like you to write it down. You're headed for certain failure <clears throat> by, by smothering it under a lanyap of subculture kitsch and B-movie claptrap. Problem with experiments is that they often blow up in your face. Everyone wants to be a critic in Head of the Class, 7.30 Wednesday night on 9-8 Prime Television. Meet the Rigadoons, a gang of funny little characters that'll do anything for a cuddle. I'll do your homework. I'll clean up your bedroom. I'll wash the dog for a cuddle. I'll let you stay up late for a cuddle. I'll eat your Brussels sprouts. And I'll love you forever and ever. The Rigadoon Gang, now available for cuddles from Kids Biz. Here's a fantastic deal. Telmac Spring Record Sale. Music for everyone. There's The Bachelors, Bluebies, Brendan Shine, Andy Stewart. There's Broadway music. Frankie Lane, Bill Haley and Chuck Berry. Music for dining and dancing. Golden Old is even Christmas music. You know, they're not 16 99 15 or even 10 bucks. But wait for it, they're just 3 99 Oh, and by the way, they're also available on cassette. At 3 99 they won't last long, so you better hurry. 3 99 Just in time to see a replay of Australia's second goal. Lee Cates was the player who took advantage of a clever deflection by Jackie Pereira to put the ball in the net and give Australia a strong grip on the gold medal. And that goal was scored against the run of the game. The Koreans had had a couple of opportunities of their own to score, to level the score. They weren't able to capitalise. The Australians raced the ball up the other end of the ground. And the Pereira deflection found Lee Cates, who ran the ball into the circle, got herself into position and cracked it past Chong, the Korean goalkeeper. Australia, Australia lead two goals to nil. So the ball out of defence and the Korea going into attack through Che, but she has obstructed and now Loretta Dorman coming back for Australia. Dorman, oh, she's dispossessed uh, very neatly there by um, Chong. And a, a Lee Kim Sook is lurking up there in that attacking 25. She goes around Tooth, but Elspeth Clement backing up superbly and now Dorman. They're over the 25, a good ball through. Bowman picks it up well, tries to force it through Han Kum Sil, wins the three hits. Well, it's play on, actually. And Debbie Bowman forcing the ball over the 25. That hit taken very quickly by Lee Capes, allowing Kim Small plenty of time. And Australia in an offside position, but that ball would probably have been deemed dangerous anyway because it was lifted high. So Australia 2-0 up. And 11 odd minutes to go in the end of the, to the end of this gold medal match, and they'll be feeling a little bit happier just now. This is Cho. Cho, oh, straight to Sharon Patmore. And the Koreans certainly have lost their composure in defence. Pat Patmore working very hard around Cho, wins the free hit. And it was to Australia's credit that they held firm in defence just a few moments ago when the pressure was really applied to them and they've retaliated with an excellent goal. Perhaps a classic example of taking the time to get the feet around as Lee Capes did. As Kim Small is dispossessed and Korea win the free hit. Han Kum Sil. She tips it back to Sao. Back to Han. Up to Che. And che turns and gives away the obstruction so Australia will be given the free hit. 
Ten minutes to go in this game. 2-0 up to Australia. Sharon Buchanan, Karen Patmore. I will get shot, won't I? And that ball going over the sideline. And Korea will be given the free hit. Khan plays it back. She hasn't got a lot of space. And Jackie Pereira puts in a very good tackle and wins the free hit. Tries to take it quickly. Han doesn't move away from it. But Kim Small with an opportunity. But she was unable to get in there before Cho. And Cho taking it away now for Korea. This is Seoul. Looking for a Chung in the middle. She finds her. This is uh, Chin. But she's well tackled by Bowman. Chin wins out in the long run. Tracy Belbin in attendance. A beautiful tackle once again by Belbin. She's helped out by Elspeth Clement and they win the free hit. And Australia out of defence once again with a free hit just outside the circle. I can't speak too highly of the Australian defence this afternoon, Mark. Absolutely. They knew they had a job to do and they've really applied themselves. As I've said, the job is not complete yet. But they lead 2-0 Australia and there's just nine minutes to play. The ball gets back to Kim. Kim will work right through to the end. There she goes into the circle. Another good tackle by Michelle Capes. And uh, Debbie Bowman coming back to help Michelle because she knew she couldn't take both of them at once. And a good deflection by Bowman. The corner. Good cross. That's right in front of goals. And Park was there, but so too was the Australian defence. Sharon Buchanan working right back to within about two yards of the goal line. These Australian players know that everyone has to work for this ball. When they're in defence, they've all got to do their jobs. And if they can maintain that composure, the gold medal is theirs. Sal straight to Bowman. Lifted. Bowman says, get this ball out of here and let's reform at the other end. As Cho races back, time running out for the Koreans. They know they've got their job to do. Kim Sung Dok, and that goes to Bowman. Bowman does well to get it out away from the Koreans, but she knocks it onto a Korean stick tray. Patmore tackling back. That's a stick check, and Korea will be awarded the free hit. Comes back to Chong. Chong Sun Hyung. Che. Che missed traps, but Han Kung Sil mops up for a Lee Cape comes to put a bit of pressure on. And again, Elspeth Clement was right there in front of Park, but she allowed the ball to go over the sideline so that Australia can have the free hit. Patmore knocks it around the Koreans but doesn't win the obstruction as perhaps she might have expected. Lee Capes putting pressure on too. Now Huang. Here comes Tooth. A good tackle by Tooth. Knocks it towards the sideline but it's well picked up by Park. And hard cross going in and that one goes right in front of the goal. And Tracy Belvin stuck to her man like glue. And Australia being awarded a free hit much to the dissatisfaction of this crowd. But Jackie Pereira, just over the halfway line, the ball has been knocked over the sideline by Korea, and it's back in play. Lee, uh, Lee Cape just misses that pass across and gives Korea an opportunity, but they don't make much of a go of it. And now it's back with the Australians. Clement coming up. Back it goes. 